calculating current and potential difference in transformers by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. This is the iron core of a step-up transformer, with more turns in the secondary coil than in the primary coil. And this transformer steps up the potential difference to supply this appliance with sufficient voltage. So the voltage supplied to the primary coil from the mains power supply is 230 volts. And this 230 volt main supply potential difference is stepped up to supply the appliance with a potential difference of 460 volts. And the current across the secondary coil is six amps, six amps. And the potential difference across the secondary coil is 460 volts. So what we're going to do is try to calculate the current that is supplied across the primary coil. We need to recall the equation. The potential difference across the secondary coil times by the current across the secondary coil equals the potential difference across the primary coil times by the current across the primary coil. So let's now substitute in the numbers. Vs, the potential difference across the secondary coil is 460 volts. And we times that by Is, which is the current across the secondary coil, which is 6 amps. So 460 volts times 6 amps equals Vp times Ip. So Vp is the potential difference across the primary coil which is 230 volts. And we're trying to figure out IP, the current in the primary coil, the current in the primary coil. So we rearrange the equation, IP equals 460 volts times six amps divided by 230 volts. That gives us 12 amps. The current in the primary coil is 12 amps. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So what we've got here is a step down transformer. So there are more turns in the primary coil than in the secondary coil. So the potential difference across the primary coil is 200 volts and the current in the primary coil is four amps. And this transformer steps down the potential difference to a lower voltage to supply this appliance. And there are six turns in the primary coil and there are two turns in the secondary coil. We need to be able to figure out the potential difference across the secondary coil and then use that potential difference to calculate the current in the secondary coil. Because we're working out Vs, I always put Vs on the top left hand side of the equation. So Vs over Vp equals ns over np. Substitute the numbers, vs divided by 200 volts equals two turns divided by six turns. So to rearrange the equation so that vs is the subject, you multiply two over six by 200. That gives you an answer of 66.66 recurring volts. So vs, the potential difference, across the secondary coil is 66.6 volts. So to work out the current in the secondary coil, you recall the equation Vs times Is equals Vp times Ip. So we substitute in the numbers. Vs, the potential difference across the secondary coil is 66.6 .6 volts, times by Is, which is what we're trying to figure out, equals 200 volts times by four amps. So we rearrange for Is, the current in the secondary coil. So Is equals 200 times four, 
divided by 66.66 recurring. So IS, the current in the secondary coil, equals 12 amps. 12 amps. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.